प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मॉड्यूलेशन मॉड्यूलेशन इज क्लासिफाइड एज एनालॉग मॉड्यूलेशन एंड डिजिटल मॉड्यूलेशन नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन डिटेल व्हाट इज ए एम ए एम मीन्स एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन इट इज अ टेक्निक ऑफ मॉड्यूलेशन इन विच द इंस्टेंटेनियस एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ कैरियर सिग्नल वेरीज इन अकॉर्डेंस विद एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल वाइल फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड फेज ऑफ द कैरियर रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट द फर्स्ट वे फॉर्म इज अ मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल सेकेंड इज द कैरियर सिग्नल एंड थर्ड इज द एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल वॉट इज ए एम इट इज अ टेक्निक इन विच एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द कैरियर इज वेरीज and frequency and phase is constant what is carrier it is high frequency sinusoidal signal which has a greater frequency compared to the information signal what is information signal information signal may be audio or video signal which is a sinusoidal in nature and it, it is also referred to as baseband signal or modulating signal so we have different names but the meaning is same information signal which is also called as low frequency signal this is also called as baseband signal this is also called as modulating signal so the first wave form is uh, modulating signal second is the carrier and third one is the a amplitude modulated signal so we are going to derive some equations now so consider modulating signal represented by the equation em of t em of t means the, the equation in time domain em of t is equal with em into sin of omega mt where em of t is the instantaneous value of information sign signal em is peak amplitude of information sign signal and wm is angular frequency of modulating sign signal similarly the carrier is represented by the equation ec of t is equal with ec into sin of omega ct where ec of t is instantaneous value of carrier sign signal ec is peak amplitude of carrier sign signal and omega c is angular frequency of carrier signal now what is am we change amplitude of carrier no amplitude of carrier represented by ec so it, uh, just look at the equation e am of t means am equation is ec ec means we change amplitude of carrier how according to instantaneous value of modulating signal and instantaneous value of modulating signal is represented by em of t so our equation becomes e am t is ec plus em of t into sin of omega c t now in this put the equation of a em eam is equal with ec plus what is em this em of t em of what is this em of t is em sin of omega mt so put here this value so eam is equal with ec plus em into sin of omega mt into sin of omega ct so outside the bracket take ec so inside the bracket becomes 1 plus em upon ec into sin of omega mt into sin of omega ct so em upon ec is denoted as small m m is called as modulation index so equation becomes multiply by ec inside bracket ec into sin of omega ct plus m ec sin of omega mt into sin of omega ct now we have trigonometric equation sin into sin sin into sin means cos minus cos for example sin a into sin b how we write down cos of a minus b upon 2 minus cos of a plus b upon 2 so our a and b are nothing but omega m and omega c so I apply this to our equation so eam becomes ec into sin of omega ct plus mec upon 2 cos of omega c minus omega m into t 
minus a m e c upon 2 into cos of omega c plus omega m into t. So, if you observe this equation, there are three parts. The part number 1 is a or three terms we can say e c sin of omega c t. What is e c sin of omega c t? It is actually the carrier equation. So, this is called as unmodulated carrier. Second equation and third equation both are same, but if you observe the sin of cos in the second term it is minus and in the third it is a plus. In the second and third term amplitude is m e c upon 2. So, m e c upon 2 and m e c upon 2 amplitude is same in second and third term. In the second term there is a subtraction of frequencies omega c minus omega m. In the third term it is addition of frequencies omega c plus omega m. So, whenever there is a subtraction it is called as lower side band in short LSB and whenever there is addition it is called as USB upper side band. So, this equation has three terms the first one is unmodulated carrier, second one is the lower side band and third one is the upper side band. If we want to find out the frequency domain diagram the first term is the carrier. So, look at the frequency domain diagram on x axis it is frequency on y axis it is amplitude. The middle one is the carrier where f c is written and e c means amplitude of carrier. Right hand side of the frequency diagram it is written as f c plus f m. f c plus f m means we can write down omega c plus omega m or we can write down f c plus f m and its amplitude is m e c upon 2 and on left hand side it is a subtraction, it is written as f c minus f m, it is a lower side band. So, amplitude is same, amplitude of upper and lower side band is same. So, if you write consider right hand side is f c plus f m, left hand side is f c minus f m. If you do the subtraction, it is called as band width. So, f c plus f m is the upper side band, f c minus f m is the lower side band. If you take the subtraction, the terms that we are getting is a 2 into f m this is called as bandwidth of a m. In time domain it is represented as on x axis it is a time on y axis it is a amplitude. Upper part is the upper side band the maximum amplitude is E c plus E m and the lower side band maxim, maximum amplitude is E c minus E m. In frequency domain it is a frequency on right hand side is f c plus f m on left hand side it is f c minus f m and bandwidth is higher frequency minus lower upper side band minus lower side band. So, it is a twice f m. So, Today we discuss what is amplitude modulation definition, what is a modulating signal, what is carrier signal and what is amplitude modulated signal. Definition of AM, derivation the first equation is of modulating signal, second equation is of carrier signal and E A M of T is equal with E C plus E M of T into sin of omega C T is A M signal. So, here put the equation of E m of t. So, we are getting sin into sin, sin into sin is a cos minus cos and if you look at the last equation, this is A m equation which consists of unmodulated carrier, upper side band and lower side band. Upper side band is represented as f c plus f m, lower side band represented as f c minus f m. The difference between upper and lower side band is called as bandwidth and it is a twice f m. This is a time domain diagram and this is the frequency.